Hello, hello, Pizza Packs. Back. So we're just coming off of Brexia All is One pre-release weekend. Um, so I only ended up doing one pre-release because it ended up. This set feels miserable to play sealed for me, at least. Um, I had a positive record. Um, ended up going three and two, and the wins weren't fun. And the losses were really not fun. <laughs> but this this set just... I don't know, it, it feels kind of miserable to do sealed on. But we have our case of set boosters. So we'll do what we do with every new set that we start. We'll label our boxes. So this time, I still have my numbers. Then we'll get into the first one. Right. As always, this is box one. Put that on the desk. We've got box two. Box three. Box four. Five. And six. Okay. So, I, I will say this is the first time in a while that uh, I'm not super excited for standard. Um, and it, it's because Phyrexia All is One honestly reminds me of uh, New Phyrexia, how everything felt back then, and it was not a great time in Magic for me. Um, I know a lot of people that love New Phyrexia. I did not particularly care for that time in Magic, though. Uh, let's see. Let's switch to our document cam. Get into it. There we go. All right. Rexia, all will be one. Set booster box number one. Okay. That, that was weird. Instead of the wrapper giving, the box gave. Okay. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, so we got Jace, and I'm not sure if that's Vraska or someone else. Um, then we have an intro to Elish Norn, which, I mean, at this point, if you don't know who Elish Norn is, you're like... I don't know, 15 years late to the party? Something like that? Oh, and we have what looks like the pack shifting. So, yeah. right, so that's 1 through 10. And, and these are set boosters, so there's only 30 of them. Then 11 through 20. 21 through 30. And I really need to clean up my space around my desk. So let's move that. Move those here. And we'll get started with the pack number oh and the light. We need light. There we go. Pack number one. Ah. Uh, I was honestly starting to miss not having art cards. Uh, Roar of Resistance for our art card. Okay, and these are Japanese packs, so... What the hell? 
That's so con... Oh, they put the rares in the front. That is annoying. So I finally figured out the, the difference. If it's Belgian or US packs, the rares will be where they belong. If it's Japanese packs, you get a poison counter. Um, they put the rares in the front for some reason. So we've got Vivisurgeon's Insight, Kethek, Crucible Goliath, Goliath Hatchery, Oh man, I just realized I'd never printed a rare sheet for these. Oh crap. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to separate off rares, foils, and uh, special treatment cards. And then I'll do the stacks of commons and uncommons off screen. And I'll do a review uh, later on to catch up. But that sucks. We've got Magmatic Sprinter and a whole bunch of other things. Eponymous Furnace, Hex Gold Slash, and a Full Art Island. Yeah, that. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. This set has me a little tilted. All right, pack number two. We have Necrogen Communion for our art card. Oh, and apparently we don't have a or a, a token. We have a card from the commander. Oh, this is from the list. Okay, so Thanos Urza's Apprentice from the list. There are list cards here. We have Canker Bloom, Slowbad Iron Goblin. Then we have another Canker Bloom, an alternate treatment, and a Bone Pick Picker Scourge, an alternate treatment. And we have some commons. And uncommons. And a Phyrexian Swamp. Very cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. So pack number three. Art card. We have Hex Gold Slash. For a token, we have a Rebel token. Swooping Lookout, Soulless Jailer, wow, okay, that's, uh, that's a card, we have Necrogen Rot Priest, and our Uncommons and Commons, and then we have a Foil Planes. Yeah, this setup was requested by one of our viewers in the comments. Um, I I don't know how I feel about this setup. It it feels strange, but I'm gonna give it an honest I'm gonna give it an honest try. Then we have Mondrak Glory Dominus. That and it's because I I don't have the other thing. Um, okay, so we have. Uh, Tadius Juniper Ascendant. This is one of the um, Secret Lair in-universe cards. I'm not sure if this is one of the ones from... from uh, Stranger Things, or if this is a one from something else. Um, let's see, SLD 433. Okay, this is 
one of the cards, or this is the um, Dalsum. So this is the in-universe Dalsum. Volt Charge Foil. It's nice. I know Volt Charge was played quite a bit. The new Phyrexian was in standard. Then we have Karamonix, the Rat King. That's our rare Sawblade Scamp. Some commons and uncommons. Prophetic Prism is back, which is neat. Oh, then we get a Foil Island. It's very pretty. On the pack number five. That is one of the versions of Elish Norn. This looks kind of strange. Yep, Elish Norn, Mother of Machines. We have a Venser, Shaper Savant, from the list. Okay. Specifically the Time Spiral Remastered version. Then we have Carnivorous Canopy, which overperformed quite a bit during the uh, pre release. Then we have Red Sun's Twilight. Destroy up to X target artifacts. If X is five or more, each artifact destroyed this way. For each artifact destroyed this way, create a to token that's a copy of it. The tokens gain haste. Exile them at the beginning of the next end step. That's kind of cool. We have Furnace Punisher, Quicksilver Fisher, a whole bunch of commons and uncommons. It's also a request by one of the viewers to just skip through the commons and uncommons, which I don't know how I feel about that. Pack number six. That is Kaito, Dancing Shadow, for the art card. These packs feel wrong. Rexian Golem. Offer Immortality. For our foil. And then the Monumental Facade. Okay. That gives you the ability to move around counters. We have Urbask's Anointer. Our Uncommons and Commons. And a Forest. Like, some of the lands from the set are cool. Like, the Phyrexian lands are neat. Um, I don't really like the style of the other full arts, though. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not to yuck someone else's yam, I just don't particularly care for it. Porcelain Zealot for our art card. Thundering Spark Mage from the list. Crawling Chorus. The beautiful nightmare fuel that it is. We have this. These piles keep slipping. Black Sun's Twilight. Bone Picker Scourge in the alternate treatment. Yeah, it feels like I need to have like a tray or something to, to hold these in. We have commons and uncommons. Pack number eight. We have Gold Warden's Gambit. Okay, then we have a Rebel Token. Foil Furnish Punisher. And the Eternal Wanderer. Nice. I like that this is actually just a rare and not a mythic. We have a, a borderless Razor Verge thicket. Very nice. Quicksilver Fisher for our alternate treatment. And we have our commons and uncommons. Huh. Wow, that's actually just strictly worse than uh, either Spellbomb. Free from flash. And with Phyrexian Plains. So oddly enough, during the pre-release, I pulled four Phyrexian lands. Plains is the only one that I didn't pull. 
Uh, I pulled one of each otherwise. Pack number nine. Okay, we've got Vanish into Eternity, which slightly overperformed in pre-release. We have Amard, the Storm Cleaver. I believe this is, yep, this is also from the Street Fighter. Uh, I think it's the N Universe Street Fighter. We have Forge Hammer Centurion. Then we have Sulfem Mayhem Dominus. The source you control would deal non combat damage to an opponent or a permanent an opponent controls. It deals double that damage to that player or permanent instead. So it's a Furnace of Wrath with legs, um, but only for non or only for uh, non combat damage. And then you can discard two cards to make it indestructible. Okay. Oh, that is a card. Bone Picker Scourge in the alternate treatment. We have commons and uncommons. A, a really cool version of Thrill of Possibility. And then a mountain. All right. Pack 10. Um. So it's my understanding that in this set, there are 10 different versions of the same card, specifically Elish Norn. Um, so it's Copper Lane Gorge for our card, which is very cool. They need to slow the hell down with alternate treatments if there are 10 versions of the same card in one set. We have a Foil alternate treatment, Sinew Dancer. Sinew Dancer actually did very, very well for me during Sealed. Then we have Zenith Chronicler. Whenever a player casts their first multicolored spell each turn, each other player draws a card. Wow. Okay, that's a weird card. Seems like it could be very good, uh, especially in, like, Commander. Bladed Ambassador. have commons and uncommons. They reprinted duress on this. Okay. Prologue to Phoresis has been very interesting as well. Uh, Meldweb Curator and Volt Charge. And Forest. All right. Pack 11. See, I feel like this goes slower than, than other things. Surgical Bay. I believe that's the blue sack land, the common blue sack land. We have a Phyrexian Might token, Scheming Aspirant. Hey, Koth! And he's a rare instead of a mythic. Very nice. Search for a basic mountain, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Nice. Okay. Would have been nice if that was just any kind of mountain. Um, it deals damage equal to the number of mountains you control. So a creature, okay. And then you have a slightly buffed Valakit for the emblem. Oh, that's neat. A really cool looking Thrumming Bird. I like that. that that's a neat version of Thrumming Bird. Quicksilver fish, Fisher. Or commons and uncommons. Crawling, Thirsting Roots, and an Island. Okay. It's pack 11. Pack 12. We have Vivisection Evangelist. It's our art card. We have Poison Counter. Basilica Spellbomb is our foil. And then we have Ovika Enigma Goliath. It's got Ward 3 and Pay 3 Life. That is kind of obnoxious. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create X11 one, one red Phyrexian Goblin creature tokens where X is the mana value of that spell. They gain haste until end of turn? Jeez. 
Okay. We have Canker Bloom in the alternate thing. A bunch of commons and uncommons and a forest. Pack 13. That was Koth. We've already pulled a Koth for our art card. We have a Phyrexian Mite, Foil Bone Picker Scourge in the alternate treatment. And then the Seed Core. Now, the Seed Core was fantastic in Sealed. And it seems like it's going to be good in, um, in Standard for anything playing Phyrexian uh, creatures. Because, it, it, I mean, it's basically just five color land for Phyrexian stuff. Um, Sawblade Scamp. Commons and Uncommons. Ooh, Foil Phyrexian Island. That's pretty. And I bet that's going to be pricey, so we're going to go ahead and put that in a sleeve. We'll separate that out. Right, pack 14. Noxious Assault. And a Phyrexian Might. Braska's Fall. And foil. Then we have Tacuthal. Inquiry Dominus. If you would proliferate, proliferate twice instead. Wow, that's really strong. And then remove three counters from something. Wow, that's not much of a cost. Okay. Rustvine Cultivator. This actually overperformed quite a bit and sealed as well. Then we have commons and uncommons. The Fair Basilica. I'm not sure if there's anything that uh, cares about, about sphere land types, but that's... Notice several things from this are spheres. Then we have a full art mountain. It's actually kind of a pretty mountain. All right, pack 15. Halfway through. Have the Fair Basilica. We just opened one of those a couple minutes ago, or a couple seconds ago, rather a rebel token and then a vindictive fire stoker okay whenever you cast a non-creature spell put an oil counter on it for six and a red sacrifice it discard your hand then draw four cards plus one less for each oil counter on it that might end up becoming similar to um bomat carrier or Bomat Courier, to a degree. Then we have the Blade of Shared Souls. So for three mana, has for Mirrodin, which creates a 2-2 two, two re Red Rebel. This is the new version of a Living Weapon, basically. When it becomes attached to a creature for as long as it remains attached to it, you may have that creature become a copy of another target creature you control. Wow. Okay, that that has some possibility. Then we have Bladed Ambassador. Uh, commons and Uncommons. And a Foil Phyrexian Plains. All right. going to put our foil Phyrexians right there. That is just wicked looking. Pack 16. <laughs> oh, that's the new uh, Kuldatha Rebirth. Let's see. Gleeful Domination. Okay. Phyrexian Germ. Wait, was there 
Are there living weapon cards in this set? Oh, it's from O and T. That's okay. So that's from the commander. Um, thing. Then we have Flensing Raptor, which did very well in sealed. Black Cleaved Cliffs, very nice. And Kenzu of the Black Coven. Whenever another non-creature or non-token creature you control dies, you may pay two life and exile it. If you do create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a 1-1 one, one and has Toxic 1. That's very strong. Then we have Vishgrav the Doom Hive. Menace Toxic 1. When it comes into play, you create three uh, Phyrexian Mites. And it gets plus one, plus one for each poison counter your opponents have. That's interesting. Then we have Blight Belly Rat. Okay, when it dies, you proliferate. We got our commons and uncommons. And a Phyrexian Island. Very nice. Pack 17. Mir Kensmith. That's cool. It's a mirror that repairs other mirror, apparently. We have a rebel token. Barbed Batterfist. And a Copperline Gorge. Then a mirror convert, a sawblade scamp for alternate treatment cards. Some commons and uncommons. Veil of Assimilation actually seems really neat. Um it did a lot during the pre-release, and I, I don't know what to think of it. The Phyrexian Atlas is also interesting. We have a Phyrexian Plains. All right, pack 18. That is Nissa. Nissa Ascended Animus, and apparently that's the Japanese art. Very cool. And we have a Phyrexian Might token, Porcelain Zealot. Okay, then we have Mind Splice Apparatus. Wait, what? Flash, at the beginning of your upkeep, put an oil counter on Mind Splice Apparatus. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to catch, cast for each oil counter on it? What the hell? That's insane! Might Overseer. Wow. Okay, that's insane, too. First Strike, as long as it's your turn, creature tokens you control have plus one, plus oh, and First Strike. And for three and a Phyrexian White, create a 1-1 one, one Phyrexian Might token. Wow. It's a 4-2. So, I mean, it, it dies to basically everything, but we have Furnace Punisher... Okay. Commons and uncommons. And a swamp. That's our first full art swamp. Looks really cool. Very drossy. On the uh, first mirror, then. Or very dross like. Okay, that is Archfiend of the Dross. Guessing that is some kind of black card in the set. We have a rebel. And we have Skrelv's Hive. So this is the new um well the, the new white bitter blossom basically. Creates mites. And then we have Miglaw's Maze Crusher. 
Sinu Dancer. Gleeful Domination, or Demol Demolition, which is the new Koldatha Rebirth. Um, Goldred's Edict, Minor Misstep, which is a card I'm greatly concerned about. Common Commons, and we get a Phyrexian Forest. There's a lot of cards in this set that I, that are concerning for the long-term health of the game um, and a lot of things that they've done design-wise that are concerning. So it, it, it seems like it's pack 20. It seems like they were like, okay, let's look at the lessons that we've learned from the past 30 years of magic and throw them all out the fucking window. Art card. That is the Dross Pits. I wonder if that's a land. Then we have Aisha Sparks of Sparks and Smoke, which is one of the um, appears to be one of the uh, Street Fighter cards yeah, for the in-universe version of it. Then we have Blight Belly Rat as a foil. We have Get. Thane of Contracts. Other creatures you control get neg one, neg one. Three and tap. Return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. It, it exiles if it would... It, it exiles instead if it would uh, go anywhere else. Anyway, Blight Belly Rat... Commons and uncommons. Hey, and a Phyrexian Mountain. All right, pack 21. That is a card. I don't know what direction. I guess it's supposed to go this direction. It's neat. This is Mere Convert. Okay. We have a mini game card. Whisper of the Dross. Target creature gets neg one, neg one until end of turn. Proliferate. Very interesting bit of black removal in the set. We have Bloated Contaminator. Right. Center Dancer and Bone Picker Scourge. I mean, it's a mobilizer. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I, I realize I'm not talking. Commons and uncommons, planes. Act 22. Red Sun's Twilight. For the art card. We have pulled one of those already. And we have another... We have the Double Striking Samurai, which goes with our... Uh, the Eternal Wanderer. And we have Escaped Experiment. And a Nahiri. Nahiri the Unforgiving. It's completed. Until your next turn, up to one target creature attacks a player each combat if able. Another plus one. Discard a card, then draw a card. And then exile target creature or enchantment with mana value less than Nahiri's loyalty from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of it. That token gains haste. Exile it the next end step. Okay, that's a very interesting card, and I don't know how I feel about it. Bone Picker Scourge. We have several of those already. Our commons and uncommons. Okay, and a mountain. Back 
That is the Eternal Wanderer. Okay, we have a Phyrexian Might. Rustvine Cultivator in alternate form foil. We have Venser Corpse Puppet. Uh, okay. Lifelink Toxic 1. Whenever you proliferate, choose one. If you don't control a creature named the Hollow Sentinel, create the Hollow Sentinel. A legendary 3 3 Phyrexian Golem artifact creature token. Target artifact creature you control gains flying and lifelink until end of turn. I don't know how to feel about that. It seems like it could be good, but also it could just be terrible. Athari Sun's Glory. This is from the Commander set. Flying Lifelink Haste. Whenever it attacks, you get an experience counter, then create a 2 2 red rebel creature that's tapped and attacking for each experience counter you have. That's cool. Tap and untap rebel you control, return. Oh, that's kind of good. I could see that good. I kind of wish that had been in, in the standard set. That would have been a neat card to, to include. We have Quicksilver Fisher and Urbusk's Anointer. Okay. When it enters, it deals X damage to any target where X is the number of permanents you control with oil counters on them. Okay, so it's the number of permanents. But it was the number of oil counters you had. That would have been crazy. Okay. We have a swamp. All right, pack 24. It's Phyrexian Arena. That's the art for Phyrexian Arena. Okay. And that looks like Raska. Then we have Marek Brutal Gladiator. This is also one of the... Um... Huh. It doesn't have the list on it. That's interesting. This is another one of the... Uh... Street Fighter cards, I believe. Not entirely sure, though. Then we have Expand the Sphere in foil. And then Green Sun's Twilight. This is another card I don't know how to feel about. Like, it's not a Green Sun Zenith, but it's also not bad. So you could put a creature and a land into play if you do five or more. That's interesting. I, I don't know how to feel about that card. Light Belly Rat. Commons and Uncommons. And a Phyrexian Mountain. Nice. Pack 25. That's the Phyrexian uh, Vanquisher, I think? Vendicator. Phyrexian Vendicator. We have Rebel Token, Foil Rustvine, Evolved Spinoderm. Does some stuff with oil. Oh, it's like a Blastoderm, except it doesn't have... Uh, Huh. It's going to be an interesting card. Okay. We've got our commons and uncommons, and we can get a foil mountain. Okay. Our foil full arts. We sleeve them. Just a regular full art instead of. Rexing one. This is pack 25, I think. No, 26. That's the goofy T Rex thing. No, it's not. This is Zoppendrell. Um, 
hunger dominus. So it's the green dominus, I assume. A Phyrexian goblin. We have Necrogen rot priest and its alt foil, which is just very pretty. Capricious Hellraiser, or Capricious Hellraiser. Costs three less to cast if you have nine or more cards in your graveyard. Okay, so it costs, th it's a three mana four four if you have nine or more cards in your graveyard. And when it enters the battlefield, exile three cards at random from your graveyard, choose a non-creature, non-land card from among them, and copy it. And it casts a copy without paying its mana cost. That's, that's interesting. Bladed Ambassador. And then our commons and uncommons. I've yet to see something that cares about spheres, so I'm not sure what to think about that. And a full art island. All right, pack 27. See, funny thing is, like this, this isn't going any faster. In fact, I, f I feel like this is going slower than when I actually flip through the commons and uncommons. All will be one. That's the red card that has a ton of combo stuff. Rebel token. Mind web. Mind meld web. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Meld web curator for the foil. Then we have Malkator Purity Overseer. When it enters, create a 3 3 colorless golem. Beginning of your end step, if three or more artifacts enter the battlefield under your control, create another one. Okay. That's a thing, I guess. Seems kind of underpowered convert compared to everything else in the set. Then we have Mirror Convert, which is Toxic 1. Okay, that's neat. Uh, commons and uncommons. Ossification was really strong in Sealed. Uh, and I feel like it's going to make a splash in, uh, in Standard. Okay, then we have a Phyrexian Swamp. Very nice. Pack 28. Oh boy. This pack wants to be a butt. That's some creepy art. I don't know what that is. That is... Micro Synthesizer. All right. Then we have a Phyrexian Beast. A Foil Copperline Gorge. That's pretty. We have Skrelov Defector Might or White. So okay, so this it can't block Toxic One. So it's basically one of the Might tokens. But you could, for Phyrexian White, you could tap it and choose a color to give another target creature you control Toxic One and Hexproof from the color until end of turn, and it can't be blocked by creatures of that color. That's cool. Hey, we got a double rare. Or triple rare pack, really, and this is a mythic. Um, okay, so this is Tekuthal, and that's the alternate treatment. Very nice. Cellblade Scamp. Commons and Uncommons. Huh, okay. And a full art planes. Then we have. Pack 29. I need to put this Copperling Gorge in a sleeve. Pack 29. Wow. I, I don't like that the rares and stuff are at the front. It just feels wrong. We have Thrun, Breaker of Silence. Uh, it's apparently either the alternate art or the Japanese art. Uh, it looks really cool. No idea what Thrun does, though. Brexian Altar! Nice! Okay. I mean, that's generally a few bucks. Um, 
Then we have Distorted Curiosity for our foil. And then we have Azuri, Stalker of Spheres. When it's the battlefield, you may pay three. If you do, proliferate twice. When you proliferate, draw a card. Well, that's cool. And then we have Kaya, Intangible Slayer. I think that's what it says. Next proof. It's the alt art version. I mean, that's very pretty. So Hexproof, plus two, each opponent loses three, and you gain three. Then her zero is draw two cards, then each opponent may scry one. Okay. Then minus three, exile target creature enchantment. If it wasn't an aura, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature with flying in addition to its other types that i that i feel if the cost isn't an issue is going to be a very good card slaughter singer jeez the dross pits okay so the dross pits is a land it's just it's the sack land okay. and then full art swamp all right and then finally pack 30 What is that? It is Urbrask's Forge. I think that's a that's a land too, isn't it? All right, then we have a drone token. It's a two-two death toucher that when it leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. I, is that from a planeswalker or something? It's from from Phyrexial as one, so. We have a foil center dancer. Hey, then we have another another Kaya. So it is Kaya Intangible Slayer. So I am glad the Planeswalkers are rares instead of mythics. It makes them much more accessible. Uh, then we have Restvine Cultivator. Oh, that's excessive. Um, commons and uncommons. And a foil island. And put that in the sleeve. I think we got some other foil ones earlier on that I didn't sleeve. Yeah, I see something shiny. So I generally try to put the foil full art. Yeah, we got two. I generally try to put foil full arts in sleeves just so they don't scuff. Um, so we got two foil full art islands. That's cool. We ended up with two. Actually, we got three foil full art islands. One of them is just also Phyrexian. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure. Sorry if I was a bit sour on this. Um, again, like, I'm not terribly excited for this set. I feel like um, a lot of the design decisions in it were uh, pretty blatant mistakes. But, you know, it is, it is magic. It is the game I love. Um, well, it is a game I love, um, and I, I want to see it. I, I want to see it be successful, and I'm worried with how things have been shaping up the last few years. Um, so, the way I cope with that worry is is I bitch to strangers on the internet, <laughs> apparently. Um, but as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me on this, and. Until next time, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.